Hi, my name is Lenry, and this is my review of Orly's Breathable Melting Point Collection. You can get the full collection for $66 off the Orly website, or each individual shade for $11 USD. And Orly comes in 16 milliliter bottles, which is the largest milliliter of bottle in my entire collection. The breathable line is also halal, and you're not supposed to wear a base coat and a top coat with it. Um, I don't <laughs> subscribe to that. So I do top coat and base coat every time I wear these polishes. And my swatches include a top coat like always. I just always forget to bring it up. I always top coat my swatches. <laughs> but if you're new around here, if you enjoy nail polish related content or someone just doing tomfoolery on the internet, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It would mean oh so much. And thank you, thank you, thank you to the people who already hit that button. Also, I'm not wearing makeup. I did just take a shower and I just don't feel like washing my face twice in a day. Just deal with this 32 year old bags under my eyes, I guess. <laughs> Let's get into the swatches. The first polish that is up is The Floor is Lava. Now, I did swatch this in three coats and I felt like I needed the three coats to reach full opacity. I did watch several people's review of this collection and it seemed like most people are able to get opacity in two coats. For a lot of these polishes, I was only able to reach full opacity in two coats with only one of these polishes. So <laughs> to, to me, on my Omega Stain nail and my Obscene Smile line on my nails, I needed three coats for everything. But this is this lovely coral red with a lovely orange shimmer running throughout. Now, <laughs> I have a tendency to dislike reds and this was another red that I disliked. I didn't like it whatsoever. I feel like it will make a good pedicure color, but just be warned, this did stain my nails. This is the polish that I wore the second longest in all my swatches. I wore it for about 12 hours and it did stain my nails pink. So I would just be very careful, either double up on your base coats. I would recommend doubling up on your base coat if you're afraid of stainage. My nails are easily prone to stainage, so this just, my nails took the color very well. <laughs> now, as this is just a shimmer based polish, it is easily removed with acetone, no peel off base coat required. Now I did do a dupe it out video where I attempted to dupe out this collection just by looking at swatches. And I'm wearing the dupe it out shade on my ring finger. I felt like Yana got really close with its color, but Sunbeam had the wrong kind of shimmer in it. So I don't feel like I got too close, but honestly, I didn't see that much of a difference, so I was kind of impressed with my dupe it attempt. The next polish that is up is You're Up To No Good. I wore this on three coats. It's the only polish in this collection that I actually swatched on my left hand. I'm kind of doing this in a hurry. <laughs> I got this collection Tuesday, it is now Wednesday, and I'm trying to just get this out for Friday, so it's currently what I'm still wearing on my left hand. It is this beautiful, bright orange with an orange shimmer running throughout. It is absolutely stunning. It reminds me of a creamsicle, like this polish makes me thirsty. This is a summer orange and I am so, so in love. I was able to get this opaque in three coats. I did swatch it on my left hand, which is my long nail hand. So it could vary on opacity, but with my experience of it, I feel like even on my right hand, I would need three coats for opacity. Now, as this is a shimmer based polish, it is easily removed with acetone, no peel off base coat required, and I will be taking off this manicure probably today or tomorrow, and I will post here if it's stained or not, because I think it might. <laughs> Now, someone on the Nicole Loves Discord wanted me to compare this next to Light My Campfire. So here's that swatch just in case you're curious about how it compares to Light My Campfire. I find Light My Campfire is a one coater and it's a much more pumpkin-y orange, a much more optominal orange, and I feel like they are not comparable whatsoever. And here it is next to what I thought could make a dupe for it. I feel like I was completely off. I think Wham Pow was too bright and <laughs> I feel like I was there with the shimmer. I feel like Mooncat's Flay the Monarchs gave it that kind of purpley tinge that I was seeing, but Wham Pow was just too bright and I don't feel like I came that close. The next polish that is up is Cesium the Day. This is a beautiful light banana yellow, at least in my eyes. 
with a lovely lovely yellow shimmer running throughout that is slightly green there's like a little like tinge of greenness in there now I swatched this in three coats and I was not able to get full opacity I could still see my visible nail line but it didn't bother me that much which is kind of surprising I actually enjoyed the visible nail line this gave me and I feel like this polish will gradient really well with you're up to no good. I feel like this will make a adorable manicure. Now, as this is a shimmer based polish, it is easily removed with acetone, no peel off base coat required, easy peasy. And here is my dupe attempt. My dupe attempt wasn't close at all. I believe I only scored a one when I attempted to dupe this out. <laughs> it's not close whatsoever, visually, textually. China Glaze's Lemon Ice just didn't do it. The next polish that is up is having a smelt down and I almost fucking had a smelt down trying to open this bottle. It took my fiance, gloves and everything to open this. All of these bottles came extremely difficult to open and this one just refused to open <laughs> and I don't understand why. It was a very frustrating experience. <laughs> I've never experienced such tightened bottles before. But having a smelt down is a lovely three coater in this light soft blue with a lovely soft blue shimmer running throughout. I feel like this perfectly encompasses mermaid scales in a lovely, 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 beautiful shimmery feel. I feel like if you're doing a mermaid manicure, this one is just gonna come in handy time and time and time and time again. As this is just a shimmer base polish, it is easily removed with acetone, no peel off base coat required. And here it is next to China Glaze's Cuba Diving. I felt like my shimmer polish was really close. I feel like I nailed the shimmer, but the undertone, the base color I picked was a little too bright and didn't have that soft mutedness of water that having a smelt down has. But I am very pleased at how close I got with that shimmer. The next polish that is up is Aloe Matey. And <laughs> this was the only two coater in this entire collection on my nails and it is absolutely stunning. It is a lovely royal purple with a nice soft bright purple shimmer. I feel like this is easily going to be a top seller for Orly and I feel like honestly it's pretty easily dupable. <laughs> As this is a shimmer based polish it is easily removed with acetone, no peel off base coat required. Now in my dupe it out video I said LA Colors Culture would make just a hundred percent dupe for it. And I was right. I barely could see a difference on my nails. I feel like if you are looking at it like Nicole Loves looks at polish, maybe yeah, you could justify having both in your collection. But <laughs> for most people, if you have LA Culture, you probably don't need Aloe Matey. LA's Culture is a three coater though, versus Aloe Matey's being a two. But if that doesn't really matter to you, maybe LA Colors. <laughs> is a better option. The next polish that is up is Glass Act and it's actually what I'm wearing on my right hand. This was again another three coater in this lovely indigo-y blurply base with a green blue shimmer running throughout. It is absolutely another mermaid based polish like I really really enjoy it. It just has a lot of visual intrigue and interest to it. It's constantly changing and shifting and I really 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 enjoy this polish. Now as this is just a shimmer based polish it is easily removed with acetone no peel off base coat required. Now in my dupe video I said C is for color could probably make a good dupe for this. I was really wrong. I feel like I got really close to my shimmer polish but the swatcher that Orly used for their hero shot, um, this was the only polish and I kind of noticed it. They have their lighting setup is very blown out and very uh, bright. So it blew out this color just a bit and I found it to be not quite as accurate as the other polishes in this collection, which is fine. That's why websites have several different swatchers for several different lightings, but they had blown out their photos a lot. So it kind of threw me off just a little bit in my attempting to dupe it out but it's not that bad. I got there with the shimmer. Hi, I'm editing right now and I just wanted to clarify that I felt like all their other swatches were extremely accurate. It was just this one that their lighting 
blew out the photo just a little bit. Like their swatches are extremely good and extremely elegant. I actually enjoy this person's swatches quite a bit. I, I like their hand pose and stuff like that. So don't feel it. Please don't think I'm attacking them. It's just sometimes your lighting setup is not built for a particular polish. <laughs> Please don't think I'm coming for them. Their swatches are so beautiful. My top favorites of this collection have to go to You're Up To No Good and Glass Act. These are just beautiful. They're beautiful on the nail, in the light, just everywhere. It's just like, oh, they are absolutely stunning. And I'm so, so pleased to have them in my collection. Now I want to talk about a little thing I found just a little bit disappointing. I found that with the first time I purchased an Orly collection, that was my Kelly Marissa collection, the tape inside the box kind of melted and made the bottle sticky. And I experienced that again, where I have like little paper fluffs stuck to my bottles and it's just not a great experience to have and when I brought that up in my Kelly Marissa video I had a bunch of people say oh this is just what happens when you purchase Orly collections sometimes the bottles come sticky I would really like to see Orly resolve this it doesn't feel great to have a sticky bottle <laughs> also all of these bottles came tight tight I struggled to open them and Orly is known for one thing and that is having an easily openable bottle. These were all extremely difficult to open and I needed my fiance to help me with one of them, which is insane and he did struggle with it. It was a struggle bus. Also, I'm not too impressed with the stainage of the floor is lava. These polishes are marketed as no needing of base coats, no needing of top coats and I feel like your polish really shouldn't stain if that's part of the process to not have a base coat because base coats are supposed to protect. I understand this is done for religious purposes so I imagine if it does stain then that's not against the religious purposes but still if that's I don't know it just feels a little weird to have a polish that's marketed as don't wear a base coat but we stayed. <laughs> I don't know, that just feels a little weird to me. But overall, I'm very pleased with all of these polishes and I'm very happy to have them in my collection, except for the floor is lava. <laughs> I just, but that's just a personal take. I don't like, I'm, I'm very finicky with my reds. I'm very, very picky with reds and it just turns out I don't, I don't like the red. <laughs> Shocker. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It would mean oh so much. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye. My glasses, what is up with them? Why are they so fucking blurry? I'd like to be able to see instead of just seeing the glare of that fucking ring light. It is a lovely royal, rural, is a lovely royal, royal, royal.